Hello, this is Ikumi, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a selection that is very accurate, and you can use the selection to color and very detailed shapes by just using the lasso tool. Okay, so let's take a look at the lasso tool. The lasso tool is here in the second row, in the sec uh, first column, left column. And basically, most people use it to make very general shapes, to clean their sketch, and so forth. But you can also use this to make a very accurate shape. So let me show you how. So when you first uh, start using the lasso tool, you kind of realize that you click and drag to make this shape and when you release it automatically fills in to make a close shape and makes a selection, right? And every time you click on a new place, the first one disappears and this one you can make a shape as long as you don't let go of the, the click, but as soon as you let go, it turns into a shape. Okay, so that's why a lot of people think that this is not a very good tool, because it sounds like you have to get everything perfect in one click. And if you mess up, you have to start all over again. Well, that's not true. That's just a default. And uh, if you look up here, there are four buttons here on the top bar. And uh, the first one is the default says its name is create new selection. So every time you click, it makes a new selection. So what you want to do is you want to click on the second one. It's called add to selection. So now, even with this one still active on the canvas, I can start a new click and add the shape without the first one going away. Okay, so just click, trace, and release. Click, trace, and release. And uh, actually some people prefer this over pads, but it's totally up to your style and your personal preference. Uh, right now I'm using a Wacom tablet, but a lot of people do it with the mouse as well. So this is adding to shape. Of course there is the opposite of that, which is uh, subtracting shapes. So if you want to instead of making small sign, small shapes inside, you want to first create a large shape around the, the object. Okay. And then subtract the edges. You can do that too. Or you can very easily hit the third button from the left to subtract shapes. Okay, so now every click you make is actually going to subtract from the active selection you have. So now if I click and drag and release, now the shape gets subtracted. Okay, so you can go back and forth. You can either subtract the shape, or if you, oops, go too far, you can select the second button and you can add the shape back like this. Okay, and a really neat tool is the to use the quick mask tool. So once you zoom out a little bit, just hit Q on your keyboard. Okay, it turns the quick mask on so it lets you know which area of the canvas is selected. Okay, um, the quick mask button is right here, right underneath the, the color selection box. So if you hit this, you can see that I missed a shape here. So just go back and have the add selected and fix it this way. And it doesn't have to be one shape, so if you want to take out the shape of the foramina here, I'll just uh, make a rough shape and hit Q, and that shape is now subtracted. So it could be any shape, and it can have as many holes as you want. So this is a really handy tool. 